Why you my father? Hi. This is like the prettiest Whoa, goddamn hello. scene I've seen in a long time. It's idyllic. Except for those two z- dead guys with the with the weapons. I don't know, man. I kind of want to go talk to him. Like, do I want to have breakfast here? Absolutely, but first we got to go take out these undead ghouls, let's call them. I feel like we've killed these guys several times already. Hi, guys. We're the Beard Bros. Hey. Welcome. We're going up in this area today. I just scared the shit out of my dog when I said, hey. <laughs> hey. He said, what, what, what's happening? He thought he was in trouble. Hello. Oh, there's homeboy. There he is. Ah. Uh, so up, corn? you talked to this guy, and he was like, Oh, I'm going into the game, and so we were like, oh shit, he's actually part of the story now, so he's here now. Yeah. That's so chill. Can you turn it up a little bit? Oh, he's telling us about Gold, gold Mask. Gold Mask? Isn't he one of the bosses? Uh-huh. Sure. Gold Mask is an Elden Lord? I don't, don't think an so. Elden Lord? No, he's not one of the like bosses that you're supposed to kill? Don't think so. Oh. Well, good luck, sir. You're blind. Also, you're wearing a... What is that called? Not a yoke. A yoke? Yeah, around his neck. Like a... Like a... Like a pillory? Like an oxen yeah, yeah. yoke? I would say it's probably actually a pillory, but it looks like the fucking, like, wheel of a ship. Right. What do you call that? The helm. Rudder. Helm. The rudder. Do you, right? like, do you tell people they're blind in public, Brett? Yeah, when I see them using one of those canes, I go, you're blind! <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know. Like a little fucking toddler. You're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I was blind. watching an episode of a cartoon show the other day. And it had one of the most real moments for me. I'm like, that's that's real toddler shit. Because someone's holding a toddler. Like, a mother's holding a toddler. Someone comes to the door. And it's another mother who's, like, pregnant. And the toddler points at the pregnant lady and goes, you got a baby in there. <laughs> Which is just what kids do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. This is what they do. Yeah. He's sizing it up. He's like a contractor. You got yeah, a baby yeah, in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a baby in there. And then the, the pregnant lady's like, that's right. Ugh. Come here. I uh, I overheard an interesting, like, little nugget of a conversation. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, when I was at the coffee shop, there's a, like, gym for kids next door. So a lot of times the parents bring in a bunch of kids. A gym for kids? Yeah, it's called My Gym. I've been to one of those. Huh. And uh, one of the adults was asking the other adult, like, mm-hmm. oh, uh, are your parents still alive? And she goes... No, they're they're both dead. They're both passed away. Yeah. And then another, a different, a third like pr- adult, a guy was like, the correct term is they're passed away. And she was like, no, you should say they're dead, not to confuse kids. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. So both those people, real weird to me. Really, really <laughs> twisted up on the inside. <laughs> both those people, real weird to me. Because it's funny, because she. Stood her ground on your dead, but she still corrected herself with they passed away initially. Yeah. Which is interesting. Very strange. Yeah. Like, I think it's okay to say passed away. Uh, I understand wanting to not coddle your children and explain the concept of death to them. Yeah. That being said, you can still use the term passed away. But also, for a third person to be like, no, you should tell them that they're dead. Like, sir, who the fuck? Maybe they know each other. I don't what fucking know. We, what yeah, they might have... The, I, honestly, that might have been like, yeah, super. What close. are we worried about? Is like, like saying dead. Like, what happened? Like, what's bad about saying they're dead? I think it was more that. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying. That no, I mean, dead. like, what's the mm-hmm. implied thing that's bad? Like, kids oh, don't want to hear the word dead. I don't think we say passed away specifically for kids. I think it's a a slight euphemism to help for polite. Like when you you just don't say like I'm gonna go to the room where I shit. Yeah. Right. I, Even I, I though think, it is that. Death is touchy for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons, and sometimes we use slightly euphemistic language. Oh, yeah. fair enough. So it feels you know? it feels like uncouth, harsher to say, to say they're dead. It's impolite. Uh, yeah, I don't they're know. both I, dead. That's the thing. I don't even think it is. I think it just all depends on. I know preference I, and context, yeah. and you yeah. Know. I mean, I have no. I, I I don't really like. It doesn't bother me when people say uh, passed away at all. I'm just. I'm just now that I'm actually thinking about it. I can't even really mm-hmm. parse. 
what the thing is we're shielding the kids from. I, I, based on what I heard from Ted, no one is. Well, the guy was like, "You should." It's say. passed away. It sounds like the guy wants to shield the kids, and the the lady wants to not confuse yeah, I the understand. kids. Uh-huh, I understand. Uh-huh, the, uh-huh, I understand uh-huh, the uh-huh. bit about not confusing the kids because mm. euphemisms in general are just confusing for kids, and it's just an 100%. extra thing you have to learn. Hundred gotcha. percent. And yeah. you could conceivably go for ten years not knowing that they're the same thing, <sighs> right, just right, from right, one right. mistake when you're three years old. Yeah. Right. That yeah. I understand. Yeah. That's just a pragmatic, mm-hmm. simple solution. Mm-hmm. The thing I'm trying to understand is why we don't want the kids to know about dead. Uh, what is, is that gold mask there? That's fucking him, dude. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> fuck. I, I guess that's why they call him gold mask. Honestly, I would guess most adults are like, I don't want them to have negative fifis for a while. Fifis! That I've feelings? never heard that, and I kind of like it. Yeah, have you not? I've never heard fifis. Fifi. Oh, that's so a funny. A fifi, to me, is what you strap to the sink to fuck instead of a vagina. That's a fifi bag, yeah. right? But I liked the connotation between the two, because fifi, like, you know, explaining someone's feelings that are very fragile, negative comically fifis. fragile. Oh, you got her fifi. Negative fifi. <laughs> that's kind of funny to me. But yeah, I think you're both on the money. Like, we yeah. know, like, we understand why we're Unnecessarily protecting children with language like passed away. Uh, I mean, it could be it could be necessary. I'm just trying to. I'm mm. not trying to. I'm not trying to render a judgment on it at all, right? Mm. I genuinely am just legit. Like passed away. I think there's a lot of people better? out there who are trying to keep their children from ever feeling anything uncomfortable, ever knowing mm. they're going to die. Sure. So yeah. passed away just is a way to, or maybe not ever, but like not now. Yeah, but know? I mean, yeah, okay. Like, passed away is like somehow more positive. Doesn't mean they're dead. I mean, I think it does, but it's it's less hurt. It hurts them less. Yeah, yeah. I think because to those people. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think yeah. so. That's the best I that like. The best I can understand it is that saying that people are dead is like shocking. Right. Yeah. It's or too disrespectful. Much. I don't think it's disrespect for the kids. Like no, in that but instance. I think like the like the reason why people say passed away instead of dead. I the mm. two that I found are like. Something about the truth of death, and something about being disrespectful to the person by saying they're dead. Mm. Uh, Are they f- going at it? Like, oh, that old lady's dead, right? Like, sure. If something. If somebody described one of my relatives like, oh, they they're dead, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. These guys are awesome. You saw them hit each other, right? Like, that was like, crazy. That was like uh, when uh, Bilbo Baggins convinces the two trolls to fight each other by being invincible mm. convincing them that they were talking shit on each other <laughs> or whatever that, it was this guy's coming at me there you go buddy he's got like a pretty like deceptively complicated outfit on for like a big open source guy <laughs> are you one of those cause it's funny cause it's like these two guys met each other and they like have similar wounds <laughs> similar and they're like you wanna go camp Dude, wanna hang out just me and I you? Wanna, I want to make a Don't new metal album. Don't piss me off, though. I want to make a new metal album called Similar Wounds. Similar Wounds? I bet you there is an album called Similar Wounds. Oh, these guys have the Similar Wounds, too. But it's not The Rot? No. <clears throat> we left The Rot behind. Also, that's my sophomore album. We left The Rot behind? Yeah. We left The Rot behind is we like... Left. Like a like a screamo band like from my high school or something like. We left the rock behind, dude. We left the rock behind. I want to listen to that. That's pretty good. I want to listen good. to it. It's just a type of music that I completely understand. It's like country music. It's like I completely grok this music. I get what's cool about it. Not for me. Mm. You know what I mean? I can even tell you the difference between like a good one and a bad one, but never do I turn it on independent of like talking about it. Hmm. I just lived it because yeah. I'm from Southern California. Did, did we fuck up this camp specifically already? Uh, I don't boy, see. Any, I don't remember much about the yellow guys. I, I don't remember seeing too many yellow dudes. Well, I don't see any items laying around, and I feel like there would have been at least one item to pick <laughs> this up. This fucking guy's like, "What in the fuck is happening up there?" Hello. <laughs> this is some Saint Nicholas shit. Tom right? Hanks. Tom Hanks in Castaway when he hears the coconuts falling. And what is that? Who is that? What? What is that? That's the best. That that scene right there is the best Tom Hanks yelling scene that exists. <laughs> Woody has a good one too, and also there's no crying in baseball is good. But there's that's no like crying in baseball is. But iconic. that's like serious. But that's like serious. It's not really funny in the same way. You're saying there's no crying in baseball is not funny? I think it's more. It's more 
like anyone would have yelled at that point. Does that make sense? Tom Hanks. I hear you, but I vehemently disagree. It feels like it feels like more of a serious scene to me, or at least more. Alex, I think you need to watch that movie again. Real talk. What? What do you mean? Because I think you're either really misremembering or really misinterpreting that scene. That scene is pure comedy, dude. I I realize that it's a comedic scene. I'm just saying, like, uh-huh. the 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 context is more like a, a guy yelling, like a coach yelling at his team is like to me when somebody would yell but hearing a sound in the woods and going what is that is very funny to me I, I also agree it's, they're both very yeah. funny they're both very funny I just <laughs> yeah alright all right. it, it's just like I don't know why I don't know why that why that it feels like more like his character would yell in in a league of their own his character would yell in a league of their own and I'm surprised that he yells in Castaway because I'll give you it's, that. it's un it's unjustified. I'll give you uh like by his previous like his character's pretty low key before that. I'll give you that. Yeah. So it makes me laugh because it feels like in the in Castaway he's like breaking character to be Tom Hanks for a second. I gotcha. I gotcha. Whereas in League of Their Own, I wasn't taken out of the movie by his silly yelling. I understand. It's like Tom Cruise is running. I'm like, that's not Ethan Hunt anymore. That's Tom Cruise. Hmm. That kind of vibe. We got what is that? What is what? Is that a hole? Like right to your left? Oh no, it's not. It's, it's you know. It just looked so dark that I couldn't see the bottom for a second. Okay. Got a little church here. Hmm. Look at that beautiful creeping vine all over this church. If there was a flower that if there was like a plant that bright, I would be like I think people would worship it. Yeah. Is it biomass? That would be crazy. That would be insane, dude. Will you stop? That would drive me nuts, bro. I would burn that. I'd have to smoke that. I'd have to take a knee and just stare. Oh, brother, what oh, happened? Oh, no. Remember this guy? He tripped and fell on a rock. Oh, yeah, he's your buddy. He yeah, I barely remember. look at you because he's under his Is little... he dying? I, I, he, uh, I sliced the finger uh, off? Like us. Oh. <laughs> Who's Eleonora? He... Oh. Oh well. No. Ooh, oh, sweet. Naga Kiba. Yeah, he was chasing. Remember, he he like hunts the invaders and shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh here she is. Oh, she became his love. Became an invader. This is my first real sadness in the game. That guy. Yeah. What about the guy whose legs stopped working and then he fell? He died under the blanket. <laughs> he was icky. He was icky. Because of the flies. Yeah, he was rotting, like, under the blanket the yeah, whole time. Yeah, that's real. Imagine if you were rotting and you didn't want to tell anyone. Oh, man. I feel like Ted would have nothing to... Excuse oh. me? I would end it. I would just end it. <coughs> Ted would want nothing to do with me if I I gasped rotting. just now at the dragon and, like, a little coffee loogie, like, shot into the back of my throat. And Dude. I'm, I'm, I just can't... Coffee loogie. I can't handle it right now. That got me good. That was really amazing. <laughs> Well, she, Elliot. Oh, there's only one. Like, I think she's only gonna heal that once, right? Like, did she? Should be she good. healed with a spell? No, she just drank, bro. Oh, did she? But we're Mario, so no, 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 no. Oh, oh, she's got all the dragon magic. <sighs> all right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a little sick of this. Do you think that because Mario was invented by a Japanese guy that he's allowed to have one katana? <laughs> like maybe that's Miyamoto's katana? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, God. I wonder how common katanas are as, like, uh, family heirlooms in Japan. Mm. I bet you That's it's, a really good question. I bet you it's less than I think, but if you're Japanese mm. national, I would love to know, like, what it's like over there. Like, <coughs> not just, like, a white guy who lives, lived in Japan for three years. Oh, God. I want to know, like, from a Japanese person, like, how common are samurai swords as a... In the same way that, like, military stuff is, like, passed down in military families here. Hmm. I'm interested. Pole blade! That's what a, she was using. I That's lit. Japanese friend that was, like... I don't know if he was cura curating or recording or something like old VHSs for a, a German friend. Mm-hmm. But it, he was just, like, playing them on TV, and there was just, like, huh. Nazi shit that was playing. And I was like, oh, huh. wow. That's weird. I will when you say Nazis, it, like, you mean things that are, like, them Nazis, pretty cool, right? Huh? Nazi VHS? It's just, like, hey, here's some Nazis, like, marching and stuff. Okay. Well, was so, it, like, the History Channel? You know, like... No. 
It was, was just it like, like footage. Was it like, look at these guys, aren't they cool? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm asking. Oh, it was. So it was like propaganda. Right. I mean, it wasn't like commentary. It was just like, and they're gathering and blah, 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 and yeah. something. <laughs> I don't know. There was no sound. I see. Uh-huh. Hard um, to get the context. Yeah. I was in Germany one time because I used to date this German girl. And uh, I'll tell you what. When I was 17 years old. Them Nazis were fucking No, no, cool. no. Uh, they were so cool when we were young. <laughs> no, when I was 17, like, <laughs> the language barrier in Europe was, like, a lot higher than it is now. Like, the, the younger generation, be it because of social media or Marvel Comics or whatever. Wow. Like, or Mar- I don't want to let's, let's say Marvel Comics. Let's say Marvel Studios. Sure. But, like, because of that, I, I feel like it's a little easier now. But when I was 17, like, a lot of people didn't speak uh, any English at all. And I, I was really sh- just trash with my German. Uh-huh. Um, but I went to go meet my girlfriend's uh, grandpa, and he was a Nazi who fought in uh, World War II. Did and, you show oh, him his like, apt pupil? He's just sitting there in full regalia? No, no, but he did have, like, he did have, like, stuff around in his house. Like, pic- one big picture of him on the wall, <coughs> his military uniform, and he had, like, some medals and stuff and some pictures. It didn't seem like he was, like, a lifer. For, to his credit, but as a kid in 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 like basically high school at the time, I was very like nervous about it because I'd never encountered like a per, like a person who fought for the Nazis in World War II before. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, what he did at to at, he was very he did not speak to me at all uh, because he thought it was silly to try and speak to somebody in, in who doesn't speak the same language as you. Sure. So what we did was he went down in the cellar, showed me his Commodore sixty four. Sweet. Uh, poured me a completely lukewarm beer, like a room temperature beer from his basement. That was the biggest hate crime of all. Well, honestly, <laughs> in Europe, I think it's just a little bit more acceptable to have warm beer. And but have we, Nazis. But we sat and we watched on mute for some reason, like a nature documentary about cheetahs ripping each other, like ripping, <laughs> ripping like, He's like, this is like a metaphor. meat up, like hunting. Are you understanding the metaphor? Yeah. And I just was <laughs> sitting there quietly and watching this with him for like two hours. Wow. Also, look at this guy. He seems pretty chill. He seems that way. He also said the guy listened to oh. Hitler speeches to fall asleep to. Okay, that's a big red flag. That's just the crazy. Oh, he's saying oh, he's like, oh. he knows it's bad. He just likes the speeches. He's before getting, bed. He knows it's bad, but he likes the speeches. He, Yo, my apparently. man is getting sick on me. Are dude, you seeing this? He's putting death on you, dude. Yeah. What is that? Oh, is that like what the uh, little lizard big eye dudes give Kinda, you? Kind of, yeah. yes. Yes. Okay. It's like if that meter fills, you're you're dead. Here's you're dead. T- here's two things I got to talk about. You ready? Okay. Number one, you guys know what's up. This show is brought to you by the very generous folks over at patreoncom slash Bros. If you want to be one of those people and give up ten bucks a month to make sure that the show keeps going, we'd appreciate it, man. We got stuff there. More of this show, trust me, and more of the uh, Street Fighter Dojo show that we're doing with Poke Kells. Isn't she great? Yeah, uh, she really is. You can check out lots of that stuff. Brother, Whoa, are you serious? Who the fuck is that? It's me, Shadow Him. Why is he like a summon? Is he a summon? He kind of is, yeah. Look at that. What is that? There is a secret around here. Support us on Patreon. Uh, Nazis and fascists, get out of here. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, what uh, else? But yeah, please, please. Uh, uh, if you have the means and are willing, like, feel free to just check it out. And if not, it's cool too. We just appreciate having you. Thank you. Yeah, and sometimes we're pushing stuff even earlier than 30 days. Like right now, people haven't even finished Katamari on YouTube, and they're able to do that and watch way more of the next series. Yeah, there's a lot going on. All right, this seems forever, (coughs) so I'm going to try and interact with this. Is it a break? Oh. Ah, yeah, they fucked off. Okay. Whoa, that was cool. Wait a minute. Here's the second thing I got to reveal, because we are now in this, like, bosque, this fucking forest, right? There are two items that we're going to get here. Woo! Is one of them a tier? One of them is a tier. You're learning. You understand. <laughs> so that tier is going to give us, I think, like, I forget what it's called, but it's the one that gives us 10% extra health. Real nice. 10% extra HP, like, global? That's pretty good. Yeah, like when we drink. Yeah. Right? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So that's pretty useful for boss fights and shit. Especially because, like, I think we're going to want to be, like, a big boy, right? Lots of health eventually. Here's the thing. So ten percent is just going to keep getting better and better. You understand so the, what I'm saying? So that's a, a Mario boy. item. Yes, yes. Boogity boogity boogla. 
And there's one more, too. Goodle? Look, here's a fucking other one. Look at this. Which, are they always different monsters? Oh. 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 Right. Oh. Touch three Phantom Crests. <laughs> well, so wait, did we just touch one? We did one, and here's two. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy? And we gotta find the last one. Touch, pr touch pretty, get money. Uh. Yeah. Mirage rise. Right. It's usually okay. the opposite. Yeah. That's real. <laughs> um, touch money. The other pretty. item is a... <laughs> it's a golden slam. Golden slam? It is okay. like a... Is that from Denny's it's in the year 2075? <laughs> Fifth element? <laughs> Two golden slams. Golden slam. And I'm way too hungry. Whoa. No, nah, man. It is the, like, holy damage butt slam. Holy butt slam? For real? Yeah. That is so funny. Because, of course, A new Mario's, butt slam? A new butt of slam. Of course Yo! Mario's got holy magic if he's got anything. You want to go check it out? Yeah. What do you mean? Fire magic. Yeah, no, but his own... His own, because he oh. has to, he has to eat a flower to get the fire magic. But his butt come on, comes holy. That's that's pure. It's uh, it's huh? powered by it's powered by coins. It's the purifying you know I mean? light of heaven. Corn. Power, I said coins. Super Mario coins. Super corn. Super corn brothers. Where does he put all those co goddamn coins? Eats right him. in his wallet. His wallet. His mouth wallet. Yeah. He's saving up. He's got to have a coin purse. A big ass coin purse. Do you think, man, I really want to try a lion's claw on one of these guys, like, unawares, just to see how much damage it I does. I bet you it's going to X him out. Who gave the, who gave these guys these, these wow. sticks? They found them, bro. They found these wonderful sticks in the woods. <laughs> I'm telling you, they All look right. the same. They hang out together. That's how they do it. They're let's like, hey, go you on a bunch patrol. Of on your face too. Hey, when you cough on guys, do they die? Let's uh, go. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, okay. You want to hang out? Let's sure, go man. on patrol together. Okay. <laughs> what are we Let's patrolling for, uh, boss? Hey, uh, boss, uh, what are we patrolling for? Uh, shut up! Get your sick ass out there! Sick ass. <laughs> oh, and then there's the hoodie ones. Are they the cool group? They probably, like, listen to, like... Are they, are they the uncircumcised ones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever... Like, of all the boy penises I've seen, like, as a little kid growing up, and, yeah. like, you're taking a bath with a cousin... Or any time. Or, or any time. I've never a seen a dude with who was like uncut. Uncut IRL or uncut period? Uncut IRL. Never seen uncut IRL? Yeah. Wow. Like just based on like, you know, you're going swimming in a creek or, you know, like your cousin's getting a bath. You know, whatever. A lot of my friends when I was young were uncut. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Huh. I always felt like it was a white people thing. To be uncut. Yeah. I oh, know, to be cut. Fuck. If you're not like Jewish, I always felt that it was like... Oh, fuck, fuck. Come on. Mostly white people that did Come that. Come on! You motherfucker! You did this to me! I don't actually really understand why I'm circumcised. Uh, lots of people, you know, uh, Catholicism and shit, you know how it is. Is it part of Catholicism? I don't know if it's, like, part of, but, like, the tradition, like... Everybody's circumcised who's Catholic? I wouldn't say that. But... Traditionally? I don't even know about that. I just know that, like... How do I put? Ooh, whoa, whoa, ooh. and there it goes. Yep, that, there it is. It's like um, vestigial religious stuff. You just, know what I mean? Just for safety. You part might as well. Of, part of the culture. You yeah. know, just in case. Just in case you might want it later. Do it immediately when they're born. You yeah. guys, <laughs> you ever talk about circumcision here on Beard Bros before? <laughs> we or must. Is this, have. Or is this just like a new era thing? I like, just I get wilded out that on some. People's dating profiles, they're like, they specify which they want. Get the fuck out of here. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I People can't even eat, like, certain foods, man. They're like, dude, is there fucking Parmesan cheese in that? No thanks. Dude, I, I, I mean, look, I know everybody has their preferences. I've never in my life, maybe it's just like we're not talking about it. I've never in my life met someone who's like... I, I don't want somebody whose dick ha doesn't have the skin. You know what I mean? Yeah. As humans now, I think our preferences have never been further from necessity. Y yeah, yeah. 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 Like people, I feel like now just are wrote, like believe they have the option to like be like, this is one of my limits. And they're kind of right. Like, yeah. well, we, sort of. Yeah. yeah. We you still have to interact with the world. But, uh, you know. In a, well, like in, barely. A in a dating profile, yeah, exactly. In a dating <laughs> profile, 
I don't. I guess it's not wrong to ask for a certain shaped penis. Get what you want. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. I've never encountered anybody who's ever mentioned anything like that to me. In ever. I've just Close. never. I've just never fallen in love with someone and then found out the shape of their genitals and been like, actually. <sighs> sorry. <sighs> sorry. I really. I actually. I don't need. I don't need. Uh, I don't need. But a I kind of get it, right? Like. I I don't want to be with someone who has a penis. I have that preference. Yeah. But just you want it really cut. <laughs> you want it gone. Get it, get it the fuck out of here. <laughs> get it out of here, the whole thing. All right. So listen, I have two jobs, real quick. I need to grab my souls, and I need to kill that beetle, and I need to kill those three guys. That's like a few more objectives than you said. Sa sa <laughs> sa sa sa. Yeah yeah. <laughs> Is this smart? Is this smart? Is he is he rabbiting already? Did he already? Okay, look, look, look. Ooh, Got him. nice. That was worth it. Come on, fellas. I don't care. Look, you can beat me with the stick all you like. Just don't spit your sick mess on me, please. He's uh, already doing it. Bite a nickel. This also, reminds me of Ca <laughs> this reminds me of Ca Catalina Island Marine Institute when they made us like stroke the sea cucumbers. Oh, sure, the pucul mucles. Yeah, so they would. Is that a euphemism? Unfortunately, no. 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 As much as it did look like one even then, and <laughs> as much as every single person present made more than one joke about it, no. <laughs> it wasn't. And when you do st stroke a sea cucumber, it does <laughs> shoot it, out its it white, white guts. Yeah. Oh, no. It goes, ah, st I don't like that. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, because I know somebody's going to say this in the comments. It is a big ordeal for them to do this. Do not do this. Don't for fun fuck with the just cucumbers. Just to see the peepee, -pee, the peepee -pee joke. Sorry. Just to see the peepee -pee joke. Did you spit on him when you said peepee? -pee? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I did it because I did it because I hate him. Yeah, and I did, and I yeah. don't have any respect for him. Yeah. In mid sentence, you were like, "Hold on." Yeah, I was like, Dewey. "Ew, back up." <laughs> it, was one of, it was one of the coffee loogies. I need four more, sp uh, four more inches, please. <laughs> Next time on Beard Bros, back off. Uh. So we're here. Call me Joe Camel. We're gonna like you know because <laughs> I smoke and spit. Explore the rest of this fucking place. I, I can't wait to get to the big nasty tree man. For some reason, I really like those motherfuckers. Okay, we'll do that next time. They are my favorite quest in Elden Ring. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody. Boy, maybe you're just a plain Elden Ring. Maybe the fan is so cold. Maybe the man is so cold. Maybe you look like my father. <laughs> Maybe you are just kind my of father. old. Are you my dad? Shall did, we? That's why. Did I you impregnate my, my mother?